Hey guys! I wanted to share this with you that I have decided to bake my soil. Um, the aglonema that was sitting inside of it um, had actually begun to lose its roots. And I didn't know it was, or I wasn't confirmed until I started looking in the soil and finding roots in it. But I have decided to keep the soil. There's nothing wrong with it other than I saw a couple gnats floating on the top. I put it in the oven for a total of 20 minutes, 10-10, rotating it after 10 minutes. And on about 300, you could probably do 250 as well. But, um... I've got the soil here. I ended up using some of it for my quarter line plant, which is right behind me. I repotted it, and it might not be the right season for it, but I feel like it was the best decision to make. I did find a little worm in there, and um, there were some gnats floating around. I had gotten this plant for $5. It's still a beautiful plant, and I just wanted to share that quick tip for you. Bake your soil if you feel like you know it's still good soil and you could use it again and it just basically needs to be rid of some things or to decrease the moisture thank you talk to you later peace guys There you have it, the roots that are hmm, not looking so good, but the plant is still alive. As I told you, I, well these, this is actually two. Two. Um, but I did cut off some of the leaves. Can you make not cold bacon? So here's the other part of the plant where I cut the sides off because they were yellowing and these look great. There's a new one coming in. So even though I didn't want to separate it, it's a little bit of yellowing here. We'll see what happens. Even though I didn't want to separate it, um, it was about saving the plant. Alrighty. I also decided to just repot the quarter line plant because um, that plant was the one I got for five dollars and I'm not sure I'm not confident in the shape that it's in I did see some gnats as I said before so we're gonna repot that one in fresh soil once it cools off and I'll show you the end result 